Welcome to Matrix Tech Talk. Today, we have a fellow Matrizian colleague in the show, Jay, who is actually a senior software engineer at Matrix, a brilliant, passionate engineer who is responsible for AutoZard development activities, uh, testing activities such as TESI and many other engineering activities. Jay, why don't you tell our audience a little bit about yourself? I'm Jay and uh, I've been with Matrix for some time now and uh, I work as a senior software engineer working on model-based development, AutoZard, functional safety and uh, testing activities as well. Thank you, Jay. So uh, today's topic, we're going to review a, a tool that we use on a daily basis as a part of our tool chain. So this tool is on the right side of the V model. Uh, you can do unit testing and integration testing with that. And the tool that we use is TESI. This tool is from a uh, tool developer called Razacat. And we are today giving you an independent review of the tool. We are not Razorcat reseller or partner. We use their tool on a, on an, in, in an intensive manner and we're giving an independent review. At the same time, I want to come up with a disclaimer up front that whatever we're going to show today is subjective to our experience. We do not take any liability for whatever we're going to share with you today. So Jay. So you've been using TESI intensively for various projects at Matrix. Why don't you tell our audience the experiences that you have gathered with TESI, the advantages and disadvantages. Why should they use TESI and what are the difficulties they might face? Yes, and so we've been using uh, TESI uh, in our projects quite uh, intensively. So we have had several uh, projects where we had to uh, test the software we developed and several projects where we had to test the software somebody else developed and in both cases we had used Tessie. So from our experience, we can say that uh, we have uh, quite a few advantages of using Tessie as a complete testing solution. Mm -hmm. Several, dis uh, a few dis disadvantages as well. And we'd we'll like to uh, share those with you today. Awesome. Yeah, so uh, let's uh, start with uh, Tessie uh, as a solution. Mm -hmm. So uh, from uh, our experience, we find that Tessie is a convenient tool to use unit as well as, as, well as integration testing. So we don't need to find different tools for uh, each of these uh, testing uh, activities. So we cover pretty much uh, a good part of the right side mm -hmm. with a single tool. And that is quite an advantage as far as I see, because we don't need these licenses. We don't need the know-how of multiple tools. We can just do with one. And it's uh, pretty easy to use in both the cases for unit as well as integration testing and in multiple scenarios. So we had issues where we could not consider our uh, testing as uh, integration testing, but still uh, there was an option in TESI where we could uh, manipulate uh, the configurations so that we could achieve the results we wanted. All right, so the first point is unit testing and integration with a single tool, and mm -hmm. you, you have some, some adva advantages, so, some features, cool features that you can, that you can utilize mm -hmm. to, to, uh, to, to do that. All right. Yeah. So going forward, uh, again, we uh, find that TESI is uh, very easy to use and very uh, good if you want to do the complete activities for testing in a single tool where we can uh, write the test specification, do the test design and uh, also get the test results. And uh, uh, with the test specification, it is uh, pretty interactive. We can uh, write, write in the specs. Uh, with all the uh, required information for traceability. So if we, if we are doing some uh, projects where we have to uh, you know, get the traceability results, we uh, have the option in uh, TESI to provide this info. And uh, test design, we'll talk about it uh, in a bit of a detail later. So, so that I understand clearly, so you can do uh, in a single tool, the test specs, test design and test result. Yeah. And does it also offer you the option to generate a trace traceability report? Uh, no, it can, uh, we can manipulate, we can write the test specification in such mm -hmm. a way that we can use other tools to do this. All right, okay. So you have features to integrate other tools that will give you the uh, traceability result. Uh, not, not the features, we, can, we have uh, possibilities in the test specification mm -hmm. to add uh, stuff that other tools can recognize. Gotcha. And the test results, of course, is uh, very detailed and uh, very readable. So the next uh, big advantage that we found was that TESI is uh, already qualified 
for uh, uh, safety related development uh, as per ISO 26262 and this was a big advantage because we were doing a project that had to be compliant with uh, ISO 26262 in a particular SL level and uh, with when we when it came to test seat, we did not need to do anything but provide a tool qualification report already available and any further details could also be found uh, pertaining to the uh, specific needs and this is also possible. So we don't have to do additional work for tool qualification, for qualification. On it, is, it is out of the box, yes. you get a qualified tool. Yes. So we can right. directly use these results from TESI uh, and uh, show these qualification reports. The next part is of course the, uh, as I said, the using for the test design using CT. CT is a classification tree editor and it's a, it's a very good uh, graphical tool mm -hmm. uh, to develop your test cases. And so this is one of the best that we have faced, that we've used until now. And it's, it's uh, pretty easy to use. And it's very convenient and uh, allows in uh, efficient development of the test cases where we can reuse some of the values and we uh, have a big picture look at the test cases or test uh, values that we give so that it can be used anytime and multiple combinations possible and uh, good features like this. So that's one uh, good feature that we experienced and yeah. So, so this point was the visualization. You can visualize test in an e easy manner. That's, that's, a, that's a big advantage, I think. Yes. All right. And the next part is uh, the ease of test customization. Uh, mm. By test customization, we mean uh, things like stubbing. So when uh, we're doing a localized test of a particular piece of code, uh, it, it's very easy in TESI to ignore the other pieces. And uh, you, know, you can just uh, stub functions with one click. So mm -hmm. you can just say that these functions are not needed, you can ignore these and TESI uh, does it for you. Uh, there is also a possibility where you can provide dummy code and that's also very easy and also provide uh, input and output from an external function uh, as you need without any code. So all these are good features and easy to use, uh, which we found really advantages when we were doing uh, localized testing. Uh, for example, I develop a piece of code and for integrating, if I want to uh, test it, it's, it's very easy uh, to only test your bit of code uh, and provide the uh, global environment. Fascinating. Moving on. The sixth advantage. Yeah. So this is uh, support for the test automation. Mm -hmm. And by automation, I mean uh, continuous integration also. It's where uh, TESI can be easily in integrated into uh, any environment, including the Jenkins environment which is mostly used for uh, continuous integration. And uh, so here, uh, the efforts in integrating uh, TESI into such an environment is minimal. Mm -hmm. uh, they provide an extensive uh, command line options that does all the operation that you can do, almost all the operation that you can do graphically. With the UI, it's also possible over the command line. And this is uh, really helpful when you try to integrate this into you know, an already existing framework. So with minimal effort, it can be in integrated. Uh, so this is one of the big advantages when you uh, work for, let's say, series uh, mm -hmm. development, where uh, you don't need to don't need to uh, have dedicated people every time. You uh, just add add the test cases to the existing list of test cases, integrate it into your framework uh, CI, and it's done. You get the results. So the continu continuous integration environment. Uh, yeah, it's easier yeah. to, to yeah. Do. This is, yeah. We found it very uh, easy to integrate. Yeah. The last one is uh, support for target-based testing. So TESI provides a wide list of uh, possibilities of uh, compatible uh, compilers, debuggers, and targets. So uh, all all the uh, common uh, compilers like Green Hills or uh, ARM Development Suite are uh, supported. yeah supported. Mm -hmm. Uh, also with the uh, targets like Lotterbach or RenSS or again ARM. So uh, okay, it's, it's yeah, yeah. So it, it supports most of the commonly used uh, compiler uh, target combinations. So these are the seven advantages we have identified. And uh, Jay, you also have faced some difficulties, right? Yeah. So why don't you tell us a little bit about the difficulties or the disadvantages that we faced in our experience? Mm -hmm. So uh, the first one is uh, setting up test environment. So as I said, TESI provides uh, support for a wide number of uh, targets uh, and compilers. But uh, from our experience, it was a bit uh, complicated setting it up. So we 
mostly required some assistance from the uh, support team uh, because uh, it's it's always uh, providing of configurations one by one and uh, we would uh, be uh, happier if there was uh, you know a one click solution for this also that we import some configurations and uh, it directly uh, works mm. so this would be uh, one uh, suggestion that we would have mm. and uh, yeah uh, so the next one is uh, for the test case modification. So uh, we really do not know if it was a, uh, you know, a random error or something. But in some cases, when we uh, try to update the test cases, uh, we often required a restart of testy, and this was troublesome because it took, took uh, some time to you know, boot up testy again and uh, give all the uh, default character values that we had to give every time. So this was uh, one difficulty again that we faced during our testing. Uh, yeah. All right. So um, as you've heard, we've talked about the advantages, the cool features of Tessie at the same time, the difficulties we have heard. We would love to hear from you. Have you seen similar kind of benefits or difficulties in your Tessie project? Have you faced something more that we haven't mentioned here? Please write in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. In the upcoming episodes, we will be doing more reviews of the tools that we use. Jay will be coming up with uh, more, more such experiences. And we want to hear from you, your experiences, not only with Tessie, with other tools, so that we can learn from each other. Thank you so much for listening. See you in the next episode. Thank you and uh, see you next time. In this podcast show, we bring in the industry leaders and experts in the automotive domain to share their experiences along their journey. The mission of our podcast is to start a dialogue that will allow us to understand the development of automotive industry and where the automotive industry is going. You can ask questions to our guests directly. Just send us an email to podcast at matrix.de. We'll schedule a call with you during the recording and you'll be part of our show. Make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any new episodes. Please share this video to help others get enlightened as well and that would mean a great deal to us. See you in the next episode.